Welcome to Circuit Analysis. I'm Jesse, and today we're going to write a script that runs a simulation. And we're using Symmetric Simplest version 8. And we're starting off in Symmetrics mode. So, one thing I forgot to mention in the intro tutorial was to move around. If you haven't figured it out by now, you hold down the control button and you zoom. So, if I zoom out, then I just zoom back in with the pointer where I want to go. So if I zoom here, it goes. So you just kind of have to zoom up and down until you get it in the right spot. So we have a simple circuit here with a 10 volt source, a 1K resistor, and a capacitor that's going to charge. And to make it charge we have to start it off with initial condition of zero so we have that in here initial voltage zero and now if you run this then it just shows up here as the capacitor is charging so let's write the script so we're going to go to new and script and then it only takes a couple lines for this so we'll write a comment and we'll say we're going to create net list and run. So the first thing we're going to do is create the netlist. To do that you just use the netlist command and you give it the file name for what the netlist output is going to be. So we're going to call it design.net. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to run the netlist. So we use the run command and we do forward slash file to give it the name of the file that we want to run. So we're going to run design.net. So that's the netlist file. And it keeps popping up here with uh, suggestions. You just have to click outside of that to get it to go away. And now that we have that, we can save it. And we'll save it in our demo folder here as run. And we'll just save. So if we want to use this script now, we can just click play and it runs, creates a netlist and it runs the only other schematic that's open, which is this one here. So now let's switch to simplest. So we'll close this simulator, switch to simplest mode. And now this one's almost the same, but we got to change a couple of things. So we have to add this option in here, simplest. And then we also have to add in this pre-process step. So we do pre-process netlist. And then we're going to give that our file, our netlist file. And then the output of that is going to be, we'll just call it design pre.net. And now instead of run, we'll do run simplest and we'll add this option here, check abort. And then we'll give it the pre-processed file. And if you want to see, if you go to help here, PDF manuals, you can get the script reference manual. Uh, I've already found the section here, Run Simplest, but you can just do search for Run Simplest and it'll take you here. And then this will show you all the options. If you put slash, that adds an option. So check abort, instruct simplest to check abort requests. So if you have a long simulation, you want to add that in case you want to abort it. Otherwise, when you tell it to abort, it'll just ignore you. So now we can save this and we can run it. And we see we have the same thing, but now in simplest mode. Now, another thing you might want to do if you're doing a bunch of runs or some long code is see how long it's going to take to run. So an easy way to do that is to create a variable that records the time. So we say let, and we'll call it start time and you just write 
epic time, that function returns the current time. So you can get the start time at the beginning, and then you can get the end time. And then we can echo this to the console. And we'll just say run time. This is just text that it's going to print out. And then we put the squiggly brackets to do a calculation. And we're going to say end time minus start time. And we could divide this by 60 if we wanted to get minutes. But since this is so short, we'll just output it in seconds. We'll say seconds. So now when we run this, it will say here in the command shell, runtime is 0.91 seconds. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.